So, this is a special drink. Okay. There's regular lychee juice, regular commercial lychee juice, you know, sugar, water, like that. But then we have, uh, you know, our neighbors all around grow all kinds of vegetables from the ground, you know, which the nutrients are. Anyway, we got some beets, right? So my wife did whatever she did with it and we got some beet juice from it. And so I put some beet juice in the lychee. It's the first time I'm tasting this ever. Beet juice, natural from the ground, you know, beets, beets, real beets, beetroot. And lychee juice, here we go. A fruit and a vegetable, here we go. Good to me. Beet juice, lychee juice, healthy juice. Mm. Mm. But that's not what we're talking about. Look, can we talk politics? Okay. Now, remember, with ADLs, I have my, my brain, they have phases, right? From now to July 4th, um, we're, 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 we're sort of sniping, getting everybody, clearing out the, the wheat from the chaff, you know, <laughs> all those people who are sniping, well, we're dealing with them right now. Then from July 4th to October to the convention, we concentrate on what has to be done at the convention, and from the convention to the first primaries for the first, well, Iowa caucus, whatever. Uh, you know, for basically October to December, really jumping on it, get involved with somebody's campaign, the, the, the debates we have going on by then, so you sort of could figure out who, you, who you're with. And then and then go on from there, right? So basically, get our marching orders um, from the conference to what to do for the next the next few. But as as the debate stage developed, you know, I was uh, checking out somebody. I was talking to uh, uh, Mike Ravel, Mike Ravel, Mike Ravel, the guy from the lab from 2008, you know, primaries, um, and he said some so so profound. There's some 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 younger kids. Now Mike is in his 80s now. But he hit, some millennial kids uh, got uh, got to it, and they said, "Wow, this guy is a great, just a candidate we want. He really talks. He doesn't talk down. He talks directly and talks to the other candidates and fires them up." Anyway, so they started. They went to and started a campaign. Basically, they started a Twitter um, a Twitter account, Twitter and, and Facebook page thing for Mike Ravel. He says, "Sure, okay, I'll do it if you'll do it." So they're handling that, and he's he has been writing for the last. 40 years, whatever have you, his, because he was in government, he was a congressman for three terms, whatever it was, so from, from Alaska, Alaska always has interesting ideas, uh, and, so, and, and so he has his book out, so that's going to come out in time, so, so he's going to be on the debate stage, hopefully, now here's the thing, come on now, let's think about it, first of all, let's, talk, let's look at it this way, let's look, let's look at it this way, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. get out of here, uh, no more radio, get back where you are, this, is a pie. <laughs> this, this, it could be the American pie, it could be the global pie. Let's, let's just deal with America right now. Just the American pie. All your wealth and everything is all in this pie. Political parties, as they come along, they want a piece of the, now the political parties, you know, they want to make the laws that basically do what, do what they, they make the laws that, that govern us, the laws of policies that govern us. And basically those policies also dictate how to, you know, divide up this pie. Now it's a political pie, but let's call it an economic pie too. The more your political power is, the more your economic power is. So if you have this much of the pie, that is a party, but as a, pop, or a political party, that means that the people that that jump onto your pie, they can get more policies in their favor, so their economic pie becomes not only that much, becomes bigger. You see, so this fight is about how who's going to get slices of the pie, okay? So, but the, but it's in phases, right? At first, they, they they have to they have to give you somebody to they have to give you somebody to want to vote for. They have to select somebody from there, whatever their their. their, their you know, so they select somebody. Now the selection process doesn't start. The selection started a long time ago. It's, it's, it starts when, when somebody is elected dog catcher. That's what they like to say. It's the lowest thing. But but you know, uh, assembly this or whatever that or school board whatever. That. Then they see those people and people keep on supporting them when they're younger. Then when they get bigger, 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 and they support them more and more. They put more money into that person. So everybody's trying to get this little pie. Think about the Grail Girl campaign, just like ADOS. It's it's really a, a hashtag. You know what I mean? But they're getting hit, they're getting their guy there. He'll get on the debate stage, right? Then he'll be espoused what they want to espouse from what they saw. Just two just just two millennials did this, right? So the question really is, less than millennials. Well, so the question really is, 
Where's the ADOS candidate that's going to get on that debate stage and talk about specifically about ADOS? Now he's he's an anti-war candidate, Mike Gravel, whatever. Have it. And all these people got all these platforms. Andrew Yang's got you know whatever, whatever. whatever. But. If our only thing is that either we got to find our politician to be up on that debate stage or we have to get the politicians that are already on the debate stage, make them um, uh, get our cause, right? Because they're all going for that big, that pie. Now, we're going to disrupt this pie because remember, this pie is made from their system, right? So what happens, we need to destroy this pie. We have to offer another pie. Can I say that? Maybe I'm, I'm not making any sense. Am I? Yeah, in other words, this is the pot that we're, this is the system we're working for, American, global. They're working on this system. This is not the system we want, but this is not the pot we want to divvy up, the pot that they enamored with us, you know, have us enamored with, right? So, we have, so not only do we want to be on the debate stage to talk about this pot, but we also need a situation where we're creating another pie, a different pie, a pie of justice, let's call it that way, okay? So, that's a little thing that we have to do right now, our marching orders, of course, all that we're in, in, in tune with right now, hopefully. Uh, if you hear all that noise, that's because I'm really in a neighborhood. I'm, I'm in, the, in the ghetto, not in the ghetto, in the township, whatever happens. So people talk, they, they just yell down the street to each other. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, and that's what we should be doing. We should be yelling to the high heavens, all of your nation, high heavens, you know. Come on now, people, get it together. This is the last stand. We got to get the pie, get the pie. Right? That's a message from me, T, from the Patterson taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS, the American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. Get the pie, create your own pie.